It's been a long time since you've seen a Tesla video on this channel. As a matter of fact, it was quite some time ago, and it was just an update on Dolores, who is the decade-old Tesla that started this whole thing. Now, my daughter drove that car for tens of thousands of miles until it no longer made economic sense. And by economic sense, the car needed too much work to keep on the road. The air suspension failed, and there were major charge port door issues, and my daughter needs a reliable car to get to school, one that anyone could fix. Not just Tesla and that one independent repair shop, but anyone. So I ended up buying her a Honda Accord. It's solid, reliable, parts are easy to find, and anyone could work on it. Some may say just put new air shocks in the Tesla. Well, I challenge you to price shop Tesla air shocks versus Accord shocks. Here's a hint. Tesla air shocks cost more, and she's paying for the repairs. Now, it's been a while since I made a Tesla video because the only three Teslas I care about are Dolores, Ice-T, and Model D. And yes, we are gonna have a Model D update. It's coming. Things take a long time, okay? We don't just buy cars, change the oil, and call them builds. Now you're wondering, why don't you do Tesla videos anymore? Well, just a reminder, there's over three million on the road and there hasn't been anything new. Let's see, there's no Roadster, and a casual reminder, there's no Cybertruck either, but I will give them credit. They did deliver two or three semis, and we still don't know how much they cost. I think they said it's 180,000, but we can safely multiply that by two. And besides, Tesla owners are generally insufferable, and it doesn't matter what Elon does, they will keep eating it. That hasn't changed. Are you bored? Say something negative about Elon or a Tesla car on Facebook, and it's like touching someone's no-no square. They're gonna react. As a matter of fact, Tesla stuff is so played out, minus Ice-T and Model D, that even YouTube channels like Teslanomics and Like Tesla Kim change their channel names to Ben Sullins and Kim Java, their real names, because naming your channel after a car company that soon the government's gonna force you to drive maybe isn't a great idea. Plus, it's saturated. There's a Tesla video on everything, FSD, autopilot, interior refresh, the yoke, even Elon's plane. And then there's the worst trade deal in history of trade deals. Let me tell you a story. There was this kid that was fascinated in his childhood with planes. He enjoyed tracking the planes until one day he tracked the wrong plane, Elon's plane. He posted this publicly available information on Twitter and Elon was displeased. Elon, the richest man in the world, feared for his safety from this little boy. What's the price of Elon's safety? $5,000, which is the amount he offered the boy to stop. The boy countered with $50,000 or a Tesla, and Elon said no. He said, let me work for you as an intern. Elon said no again. This is my swamp. Elon has a better idea. He bought Twitter, seemingly filled with bots. He acquired Twitter for $44 billion. Elon's path to profitability was charging $8 for a blue check mark next to your name. Elon's team then claimed the strange man in the mask in a competitor's electric vehicle attacked him. Someone from his team found him, took this video, and posted it on his platform for the world to see. Mysteriously, this man who threatened Elon's safety, we never heard of this incident again. And even though his life was threatened, Elon mysteriously did not file a police report. Elon removed the account of the boy who tracked his plane and then threatened legal action. How is all this talk about private jets good for the planet? How can you stomach it? You can't, but guess what? You know what is good for your planet? AG1 from Athletic Greens. It's a daily supplement packed with 75 different vitamins and minerals of other whole food source ingredients. And I've been drinking it daily for several months. And boy, I just feel better. And it's a good source of vitamin C, which is crucial for immune health. I can do my workouts twice as long and find that my focus is sustained to the point where I can watch a whole movie without opening a laptop or a phone to go on special websites. I can also complete projects, just not the C4. If you tap my link right now, you get a one year supply of immune supporting vitamin D3 K2. I love my D3 K2s. You even know what that is? Don't you love it? <laughs> of course I do. Okay. Anyways, and you get five travel packs free with your first purchase. Do you remember me before AG1? Remember who I was before that? I do. Look at me now. Much better. Incredible. <laughs> the transformation's incredible. You're like a butterfly that came out of its cocoon. Seriously. Yep. How long do butterflies live? It's comprehensive and convenient daily nutrition. Thank you, AG1. Cheers. Well, that's really it. Over the last couple of years, there has been some really good competition. And I know what you're going to say. There is no competition to the best car ever. However, any car that takes sales away from a Tesla, like a Taycan or a Rivian or an e-tron, is competition. If you put your money elsewhere, it's competition for your money. 
But the biggest thing was the price change, and this is huge. <laughs> but what's really crazy is that people forget quickly that those are just pre-pandemic prices. They are back to normal now. People seem to have goldfish brains, and it's like when they mark up a TV to double the price the week before they drop the price by 50% on Black Friday, nothing is new here. I'll explain this later, but Tesla could bank near $25,000 per car in profit if the right options are selected. Elon could afford to buy another plane with a new tail number. Matter of fact, remember the David Matthews Band, a group of hippies that loved the planet so, so much? Well, their tour bus was driving over the Kinsey Street Bridge in Illinois and dumped 800 pounds of human waste from their tour bus onto a crowded sightseeing boat below, which the driver then pleaded guilty. The hippies did that. So just remember, when Elon's flying in one of his 134 flights per year in his private jet, just know that they were probably hovering over your head at some point, and he's flushing the toilet somewhere over your house right now. And even though he's flushing his toilet over your heads right now, I tell everyone that's looking for their first EV, I always tell them to try out a Tesla. If they want to look cool and have a 50-50 shot of getting horrid service or not so bad service, then buy one. On the other hand, I drive a Rivian, which I love. I put 10,000 miles on it in a few months, and it's definitely not a perfect truck, and I paid way too much for it, but it's very functional, and it has all the advantages of an EV. It has crazy acceleration, modern styling, and a high price tag. And the charging network away from home, well, you have to rely on Electrify America, EVgo, and ChargePoint, so take that as you will. And I pay damn near 50 bucks to fill it up. It's definitely not great, and it's definitely not as good as Tesla charging, but it's not a Tesla, and I like that. Let me explain what I mean. As a car enthusiast, I find Teslas boring because they're everywhere, and I want to drive something unique. Well, Rich, why would you want to drive something unique when you could just drive, quote unquote, the best EV there is? Well, truth is, everyone likes to be seen a little, okay? We're human. Like, we like cool stuff that no one else has. Like, when people wrap their cars and post pictures of it, why do you wrap it and post pictures of it? Because you want people to see it. You want to spend more money to be different, and that is fine. Why'd you trim your beard? Cut your nose hairs. Because you don't want people to run away when they see you. It's like fishing. You post photos of the fish you caught because you want people to see the kind of fish you're able to catch. Why do you post pictures of your wife and kids? Because you're proud. And that's why exotic rental car places exist. And do you know why most people rent exotic cars during the day? To be seen. Now you might say, Rich, you're super vain. And that's a lie because I dress like I'm in abject poverty every day and I have a patchy beard and I wear dirty sweatpants and my clothes usually have stains on them from the food I ate yesterday. But when I'm driving around town, you know what my favorite thing to hear is? Who's the homeless guy in the Porsche? So I wanna give you guys a buyer's guide to all those that need it because the truth is out of every single available EV and also every single available non-EV for the masses, the Tesla Model 3 and the Model Y are probably still the best value vehicles you could possibly buy for a car and SUV. I really think it is for you. Personally, I'd rather put my money in an M3 and an Audi RS3 over a Model 3, but that's just me. But there are shortcomings. Now, it's not all rainbows and unicorns here. The service still is not great. The build quality still needs work. And God forbid you have an issue and you want to talk to someone that can accurately answer your question that isn't wearing an Elon Musk flavored rosary bead around their neck. Now, if you look on Tesla forums, every other post is, I demand my money back because Tesla lowered their price, and it's generally an awful place to be. Now, the best Model 3 owners are the ones that stay off the forums and enjoy their cars, and the ones that modify their cars for the track are hands down better than everyone else. Everyone else, kind of awful, but it's a great little car. The Model 3 is like the girl in class who's really smart, funny, great personality. She rescues animals comes from a good home, valedictorian, but is really unfortunate looking on the attraction scale. She's about a two out of 10, and she looks like a medieval peasant, but she's really nice, and when you tell people you're dating her, it's kinda like driving a Model 3. People react like, wow, you know, you really made a choice. Good for you, man. Enjoy that Model 3. It's good, and it's wholesome, just like her. Matter of fact, I'm proud to be an American because everyone is buying a Model 3, and I like that. It's sterile, and you deserve sterile. I don't want a Model 3 personally. I don't want the smart girl. I want an art major who could never survive on her own. She's a nine out of 10 and her favorite activities are playing with rocks and sticks. Simple. I want her to ask me how magnets work. I want to hold her hand in public. I want a McLaren 720S. I want the girl that makes heads turn, but I can't afford a 720S. So what I'll do is I'll say I'm happy with my Model 3 and I don't need a 720. 
okay? The Plaid's faster anyways, and it's a third the price of a 720S. That's what helps me justify my purchase. I'm gonna lie to myself, okay? The 720 is a gas guzzler, and it doesn't have apps, and you can't watch Netflix in a 720. It doesn't drive itself, no thanks. I'll keep my Model 3, thank you. So to help you buy a Tesla, let's do the work, shall we? If you were to buy new here, Tesla conveniently has no long-range Model 3, forcing a $10,000 upgrade if you want more range. This is a ruthless marketing tactic, but it works, and Tesla is a for-profit company. When will people realize this? They are here to make money, and they're doing that better than anyone else. Toyota makes about $1,200 to $2,700 per vehicle, and Tesla makes about eight times that in some cases, beating Toyota's net profit margin since it went public. Tesla's cost about $36,000 to make, but they sell for $10,000 more. And guess what? The average Tesla price is still significantly higher than that. If you factor in a price for a color change and a price for wheels and a price for interior, you know what's even more cute? The Model S sells for significantly more and costs very similar to the make as the Model 3. You want internet? Subscription fee. Electricity to supercharger? You gotta pay a fee. Far more than you'd pay to plug it at home. Or you want autopilot? 15 grand. How about no? Is it worth 15 grand? No, it is not. Unless you just wanna give Tesla money again, it's a profit company. For a while, a used Tesla even outpaced the cost of a new one because supply and demand. If you buy used now, know that the prices are not stabilized yet. People still think their cars are worth something more than it is because they were told their upgrades matter. But the truth is, full self-driving, autopilot, or any other software mod is not increasing the cost, and Tesla reserves the right to pull them from a car when ownership changes. Chances are they're hoping you're a sucker and didn't see Tesla prices fluctuate or you don't know the difference between FSD capability and what is actually installed in the car. It is a big deal. And in a weird turn of events, if you own a Tesla and you bought FSD when it was thousands less and you want to upgrade, you can't take the FSD with you. Buy it again for way more, which is an interesting business choice. I give out this free information because I don't want anyone to get screwed. Owning a Tesla is probably the best car choice, again for you, but the downsides are still exist are cold weather, the range is about 20 to 30% less because lithium ion batteries don't like the cold, and service. Tesla is still lagging, and if your car has an issue and you come from a Toyota or Honda or any other manufacturer, just know that Tesla will hold on to your vehicle longer than any of them because they are still understaffed. Fortunately, there's another solution. Here's the thing, if you're a car enthusiast, you just might like some vibration, noise and feedback and analog power that can be modified and there's different walks of life and different cars for different people. I won't say one size fits all, but the Model 3 and Model Y are great choices for you. Not me, but you. Steven, the first thing you do when you get into a Tesla, what does it want? It wants money. money. Please enter your payment method to continue to drive. I, I don't, dude, this is, I never seen the screen this big. I'm just seeing the Model 3 screens. There's a lot going on in here. Is this the drive? Is this the swipe to drive? Yes. Okay, well, we, don't, we won't do that. But no, this is, um, in terms of speed, again, now I'm at the maps. Let's go to the satellite view. What is that? No, that's not, that's charging. There we go. A lot faster too. Yeah, this is, um. Compared to any other car. Literally any other car. Look at this, there's Steam on, you can play games. I don't know, I'm gonna say this is this is a pretty neat interface. What's this, Rare, Rare Entertainment? Oh, look at this, Had to power fan. I know everyone like watching this has done this a million times before probably, mm -hmm. but this is this is my first time really playing with this and this is this is actually pretty cool. Look at this, there's Dem a wrecked one right there. Demand problems? Look at that, man, these things are everywhere. And it's all Model Ys and Model 3s and the occasional bloated Model X. <laughs> Look at this bloated. Look at that bloat. Are they on sale? Look, that one's gray. Yeah. That one's that one's gray. Yeah. This one is also gray. <laughs> how do you how do you stand out? Dude, this place is totally different. Remember, there were mm -hmm. no cars here before. Yeah. There's a million cars here now. They're ready to get Imagine ordering a Tesla, it's showing up here and be like, oh, which one's yours? This is the gray, was it the other gray one? Was it the other other gray one? Uh -huh. Just keep No, this going. place is totally different now. This is insane. This is also Tesla's overflow lot as well, apparently. Yeah, the rest of the mall. Any mall you go to that has a Tesla uh, dealership at it? You're stuck. You're, you're, yeah, you're not going anywhere. No. So no now I can't it. get into the sleep number. Sleep number. There Tesla, good for you. I am terrified. You know, the, the Model X is having issues again. <sighs> and I just don't want to bring it here. If there was only another place I could bring. Just one more solution. A third party uh, EV repair shop too. That you know will take care of it. That I know will take care of it with friendly customer service.
you know how they have the whole controversy about oh the cobalt mining and stuff is that really a thing for teslas do they not use as much i'm, I'm not really educated or well versed with that because you know they talk about cobalt mining and how dangerous it is for the environment but do they actually use that much like i don't really i don't i don't really i don't really know what's going on like i don't again i buy cars not for the environmental impact but there are a lot of uh articles stating that you know uh cobalt mining lithium mining were all bad for the environment is that is that true it's on 10 to 20 percent of the battery okay it's not much yeah so who, gives, who, we're, we're, so who cares we're just making a lot of Stephen. mark my word if it was 200 percent, i still wouldn't care <laughs> or better yet you know, it's almost like uh it's it's akin to actually diamonds remember the whole diamond issue blood where, diamonds blood diamonds right yeah. where you have diamonds that are grown in a lab are better they're clearer they're cheaper and they're better in almost every single way than a regular diamond, but people still insist. No, I'd rather people die to have my diamonds. Yeah, I'd rather the blood's you know? on my hands. On my hands. On my literal hand. I'm in that camp. It, it is kind of funny that diamonds never did go out. Of, you know, after all the information. There, yeah, that's what I'm saying, dude. Like people, people, people all the time. People still getting engaged like, that way. It, we're living, we live in a society yep. where people complain about everything. Yep. Right? But no one's talking about that. Like there's no boycott <laughs> for blood diamond. Like seriously, is there? You could, you could hand a girl uh, a pearl, peridot, yeah. ruby, Seriously. sapphire, emerald. No. Yeah, Nothing. it's gonna be it's gonna be this this piece of. No, carbon. I want to. Was someone hurt making this? <laughs> I'll take two. At the same time, how how is that okay? Mm. Do you know why? Because all the resources reside in a country that we're not in. Mm. It's who cares about Africa? What do they have to offer us? Who cares? Let's just pillage and destroy their land and we'll be our fine on ours, right? <laughs> knowing, <laughs> knowing someone suffered <laughs> to make what I have, yes. is a, it's a much better feeling. Yeah, moissanite? What do yeah. you want? No. Cubic zirconia? No, 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 no. Blood. I want to be slaughtered. Africa's blood. Slaughtered. <laughs> I want as many resources from the motherland as possible oh, to make what I have. <laughs> You're not recording, are you? Was it Look at this. Yep. It was never like this. It was never like that. Look how far we've come. Well, look how far they've come. They, them have come. This is actually kind of amazing. Look at that. That's crazy. They're everywhere. Yep. It reminds me of the poop map. <laughs> That's the poop map. <laughs> look at that. I love this. So I went, I went to San Francisco for the first time, I don't know how many years ago, but... Oh, look, there you go. Hey, this, another happy customer. <laughs> <laughs> and they have this thing called poop maps. And every time you a person sees a piece of human feces on the road, you put a little <laughs> And what is funny is because if you, if you zoom, look at this, this is where it started, right? That's how it started. And, and, and that's it evolved how it's going. to that. And this word is not. <laughs> is this every city? Can, we, can you poop every city like this? I don't know if you can. Oh my goodness, that's awesome. Poop plot point? Yeah, 132,000 cases since 2008. This is, this is amazing. I love this so much. It's the same thing. Turds are super. Oh my gosh, I love this. <laughs> yeah, no, we can definitely give credit. Tesla no, credit. All the credit in the world. Very, very cool. Tesla. Okay. Very cool. This is the only one we could find down here that had a temporary closure. Let's, I guess we're not going to Colorado Springs. Yeah. If this was Electrify America, however, all these would have that. <laughs> <laughs> You sure? Checkmate. That's not how this game works. Oh. How did you know?